Hello, I'm Jose Sasai down in the WUFT Newsroom. For Monday, November 10th, here's your news in 90. A man in Florida has died after being stung numerous times by a swarm of yellow jackets. According to Sarasota Police, 47-year-old Christopher Nelson, a homeless man, died Saturday after suffering thousands of yellow jacket stings. Yellow jackets generally keep to themselves unless they feel threatened. Every single hour in this country, a child swallows, inhales, or is otherwise exposed to the toxic chemicals inside laundry detergent pods. Since the product hit the market in 2012, more than 750 children have been hospitalized after coming in contact with the pods. Manufacturers say they're concerned about the problem and making changes, like making the pods look less attractive to young children. A Utah community is grieving after a tragic train accident Sunday afternoon. A five-year-old boy was hit and killed by a freight train as he played on the tracks near his home. Police say a woman was in her car trying to warn the boy to get off of the train tracks. In his first address at an Asia Economic Conference, President Barack Obama announced a new visa agreement between the U.S. and China. Mr. Obama said huge economic growth will come from the Asian region and made it clear the U.S. wants a stable China. The U.S. and China business relationship will create thousands of jobs in the U.S. Bombs exploded in three Afghan cities today where at least 10 police officers were killed. Taliban militants claim responsibility for two of the explosions at police headquarters in two different provinces. Taliban violence has increased as foreign troops begin withdrawing from the country. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.